Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to navigate more effectively your project using the GNU Global software. Now, without giving you a lot of details of what it is, it's basically a tagging system that you can plug in um, different backends. Like, I, I use it with ctags. Um, that's what generates my tag files. And then Global uh, allows me to go to those references. At least that's, you know, like a super overview, you know, definition of what it is. I'm going to leave links in the description so you can look it up if you want to. Because in my opinion, uh, maybe you don't, you're not really interested in it. You just want to see how it works and it might help you out with your, with your workflow. So let me put you a, like a basic, basic example of how I think it's useful. I know that in my project, there is a function called body move. So if I wanted to look for it, I mean, I know it by memory, so I know that it's located in body.h and then I can do an incremental search and go to body move and there we go, right? But let's say that this was a really huge project. You could also use a uh, projectile grep and here you can, you know, type in the name of whatever it is that you're looking for and it, it works. Um, it's going to take you to all of the instances where uh, this particular piece of string was uh, um, was created in your text files or in your source code files, right? The problem is that it also applies for tag files and references. Um, if you only want to go to the definition, this is uh, not so useful. Um, you go, you go adjust a little bit. You go, you know, type in the the prefix void if you know the return type of the function. If you're using a um, a strong type uh, programming language like C or C plus plus. And then you can just type uh, body move, and then it's gonna narrow the list a little bit. But even then, it actually gonna it's actually gonna take you to the tag files in your project, which is not so useful to be honest. Right. So uh, what I do is, like I said, use GNU Global. So if you wanna use it, uh, you will have to install the ggtax package from from. Uh, from the Emacs uh, repositories, and you will also need to install Global from your uh, distribution repositories. Uh, once you have it, I mean, I already have generated those uh, tags. I'm going to show you right after how, how to do it with projectile. Once you have it installed, there are at least two functions that you want to look for when using the front end GT tags for, for Emacs. One of them being uh, GT tags find definition. Now, I think this is pretty straightforward. This is going to take you to the function definition rather than the references to that function. So if you type in uh, body move, then it's going to take you there. Now, notice that uh, once you have you know, activated the ggtax uh, uh, mode, then in your source code, it's going to highlight the name of the function. Well, I mean, I mean, it's gonna place an underscore for it. So for me, that's highlighting something, right? Uh, but anyways, if you activate ggtax find reference, then it's gonna take you to you know whatever references the the GNU global thing can find. Granted that there's only one instance in this uh, particular project that I'm using this function, but I know for a fact that there is a I don't know, a, a position struct defined. So I want to know uh, all of the times that I'm creating or referencing this position struct so I can activate the other command that I was talking about, find reference. Now there's only one reference as well. I forgot about that, but let's let's say that you wanted to find the, the ones that actually use uh, the body data type. Now, I suppose that I know for a fact that there are uh, tons of places where I'm actually referencing uh, this, uh, this uh, type definition, right? And I, you, you can iterate over them in all of, the, uh, all of the source code that you have in your project. Now, uh, there, are, there are other, I mean, other functions that you can use for the, for the front end of GTAX. Uh, those are the two primarily that, that, that I use. Um, so, I mean, you, you can take a look and maybe you can find something uh, a lot more useful to you. But my, my opinion, this is one of the, the better approach that I've seen for, you know, navigating for symbols in your project. Now, let's, 
First, let me show you these. I mean, the G prefix files that you have in your project. These are going to be the, the tags generated by, by uh, GNU Global. Uh, you can see that this is, I believe it's like a binary format. I'm not sure. But uh, for instance, this is a GPAD. Uh, you can see that it defines all of the uh, source code files of your project, right? I'm going to delete all of the G prefix files inside of the project. And if I try to go to, you know, function definitions, I don't have anything available anymore. So in order for, for projectile to generate that, you need to call uh, any of the commands for finding uh, a tag. Um, for instance, projectile find tag. And you have to give it the root directory of your project, which is the current one. And it's going to ask if you want to use the CTEX backend. I, I do it. Uh, I use it. Uh, I haven't used it the other way, but this is what works for me again. Um, and then once you generate them, you have available all of, the, all of the symbols that you created for your project. So you can go to body move, you know, or maybe you can go to main, your main, your main function, or you can go to uh, vector minus, you know, whatever functions that you have or anything that you have created for your project. So anyways, this is, uh, like I said, a really useful tool for me for whenever I'm navigating or, or you know, uh, going through a lot, a lot of sort of goals in a project. Um, it, it is, in my opinion, really easy to set up, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description with a couple of resources that you can follow to, uh, to read more about it. And if you get a shot and you have a question, just uh, let me know and thank you for watching.